You're now watching a clip from the Inspired by show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. There's a big part of self-discovery which can go down the blame route. Blaming parents for what we didn't have. And I did that. I talked about it on a podcast episode. I literally called my father Darth Vader because of the way that I felt victimized by him. You know, he did, he did go down a very dark route when I came out as gay. Uh, so I was banned from my family for over a decade, not to go anywhere near, near anyone um, or there you know, would be trouble. So um, when we, we did eventually sort it all out, but he was still quite vindictive because he was reacting to the pain inside. And when I, whenever I tried to, to connect with him, I found that I would, because I saw him as his enemy, he would react back in the same way. When I realized that and dropped it, I'd actually began to look at, well, wonder where he's coming from, wonder what's going on for him. He opened up and told me things about himself which he'd never talked about before. And from that moment, our relationship began to change in ways I couldn't have imagined. So it's much healthier now. He's still very private, but he's opened up a lot more. Mm, yeah. And isn't that such a beautiful thing that yeah. you've helped him to create? And it's it's such a shame that you went through so much pain and suffering, my words, from your yeah. experience, for that to happen. But what a beautiful way for it to mm. come out the other side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had a he went recently into a, a hospital for a lung removal because he had lung cancer. And he came down to visit me in Brighton. And I thought, I'm going to have to say the one thing he probably doesn't want to hear, but I am going to let him know that I love him. So I said, to Dad, I love you. He was so embarrassed. And he, is, he made some jokes. Um, and then he went away and I had the operation. After he came out of hospital, he gave me a call. And I think what I'd said had touched him because he apologized for everything that he'd done. And he was so sorry and that he just wanted from now on to be a better person. So I think it's really powerful to begin to understand where a person's coming from. Not to fall into that dream state where you're mind reading and fortune telling, which is so easy to do but to wake up to the truth, what is really going on here and find out and ask. Mm. And just because I don't know, just from saying, I love you, it hit home somehow. And then we had this um, conversation when he returned. So that was a big, again, another pivotal moment in our relationship. Mm. And it felt so freeing. It's nice to be released from that yeah. instead of being weighed down by feeling victimized and then having someone to blame for current circumstances if they're not favorable. Yeah. 